What's up, YouTube? We got a treat for you today. We are at the Somerset Bedford County line at what is known as the Winber site for the old AT&T long haul system. So we're actually in Somerset County, but we access it from the Bedford County side. Um, down near Pleasantville, Fishertown. And I'm not even going to speed test anybody else except for T-Mobile. Uh, they're the only carrier on here. And um, it's not even worth testing anybody else because there's no coverage here. So this site was recently upgraded. We'll get into that in a bit. Um, but the backhaul hasn't been upgraded. So the backhaul is a two-foot dish on a very old Aviat radio, 40 megahertz of 11 gigahertz uh, of spectrum. Um, I saw the PCN go out. This site is to get a three-foot comscope dish with Saragon radios, 8 megahertz of or, uh, can't talk today. 80 megahertz wide channel, 11 gig. The tower it's coming from has already been upgraded. I can pull six or 700 meg on that site. So I know it's coming. Um, but all the new panels and sectors have been installed. Uh, the new frequencies are there. 41. In fact, is N25 is there. Um, so this is a site that feeds my house. So it's where I get coverage from at my house. The tower is about nine miles from my house. Nobody else has coverage at my house. And then, of course, uh, Crow's Nest Broadband is also co-located on this tower. So, 52 down, 28 up, 26 milliseconds of latency. So, ping is great, actually. Very good. Um, but we'll, we'll just test this again. I'm sure I'm getting a bit of an umbrella effect here because I'm, like, right underneath the tower. But, again, the backhaul hasn't been upgraded here. Um, oh, hey, <laughs> that's not great. I'm on my Wi-Fi. No wonder. That just didn't seem right. Let's uh, change this here. Let's try this again. That seemed like way too good a latency. All right, this is better. T-Mobile, no Wi-Fi, 5G, if I can get it to focus. Actually, it's still not bad. Um, 27 milliseconds, 50 down, and 30 up. All right, there you go. Uh, actually, let me let, let me open uh, Cell Mapper for you real quick, and you can see that we've got um, Band 41, and I don't know why. Okay, so 700 megahertz, 600 megahertz, Band 66, um, Band 12, <clears throat> Band 71, and. 41 and N25 are here. All right, we'll do a full walkthrough on this site. This is such a cool site. It's one of my favorites. It's an old AT&T long haul site known as Winber. And we'll walk up here. This site is 215 foot high. Those horns are 20 feet in height. I've personally been up there to them. Um, they are just massive, as is the whole tower. So this is one of our backhauls. This is a gig and a half Aviat backhaul and a three foot com scope. And on the other side, we'll walk around the other side, we've got another gig and a half backhaul. We've got a full ring to this site for us, for Crow's Nest Broadband. Um, and a bunch of horns. So I'll walk around here to where we can see the um, <clears throat> the T-Mobile configuration a little bit better. A um, little bit of graffiti, of course. Only copper and electricity coming to here. T-Mobile and I are the only ones here. We are, of course, both wirelessly backhauling. Um, and these old bunkers, they're just uh, they're just impressive. They really are. Um, big old four-legged tower. A lot of fun to climb, actually. They've got a cage and a ladder. And, uh, a lot of fun to climb. Alright, let's see if the sun won't mess with us too bad here. So, there you can see the T-Mobile panels. There you can see the T-Mobile two-foot backhaul, the old, old Aviat outdoor ODU. It's still there, still hasn't been upgraded. But again, I saw the PCN go out. I know it's going to get upgraded. Um, there you can kind of see the T-Mobile config a little better. They're N41 panels. 
Uh, so three sectors, three sides. Um, so this is Crow's Nest Broadband here. There's our other gig and a half backhaul and some RF Elements horns. And on the other side here, we've got an AF11 that's actually feeding my house, 650 meg, a couple more RF Elements horns. That above there, there you can see like it's either a 10 or 12 foot abandoned backhaul. I've stood behind that dish. It's just absolutely massive. Um, so there you go. Let's uh, walk around um, to the other side. We'll take you around toward the inside I've got you probably could see the reflection on my screen when I was doing the speed test I got a headlamp on the lights in here aren't the best but I'll give you a tour of the inside here real quick so the old uh, electrical system here is still there <clears throat> I'll try and uh, point out anything of detail here for y'all long liners that might see this um, there's the old copper T1s, all that good stuff, some exhaust fans, um, solid concrete walls. This is the modernized electrical system here uh, where T-Mobile and ourselves are getting power. And then um, we've got this system here, which honestly, I'm not even sure what is. Um, so we've got some interesting information here. This is for the generator, which is behind me. Um, it, I have somewhere here. Okay, here's the generator. I wish there was light in here. There isn't. At least I don't think. No, there's not. Um, <clears throat> but I figured somebody had asked me recently if the generator was still in here, and it is. So I figured I would. Uh, I'd show it to you. Um, at least the best I can. There's a service record here somewhere. Yeah, here you go. It was last serviced in 1991. Um, according to this, there you can see that. 1990 it was serviced four times, uh, five times, and then uh, the very last time was November 18th, 1991. Um, pretty cool. That's as old as me, by the way. Um, there you can see the uh, battery system, and it's a uh, a um, tag there with some more information. Um, but I bet with a little bit of TLC, you could come in here and start this unit and probably make some power, which would be great actually because uh, this site is notorious for power outages. Um, we've had repeated three, four, five day power outages and both us and T-Mobile have had to bring generators here. Um, so anyways, I thought I'd show you guys that. I figured you might find that interesting. The old long lines generator, last service in 1991. All right, here you see some big breakers and all kind of fun stuff going on. All right, come around here. We've got the lighting system. All the egress, ingress for the cables. I don't even know what this is. Somebody can tell me what this is. Um, maybe part of the pressurizing the feed lines, maybe. Um, it's older than me. This is all brand spanking new for T-Mobile. They've done a very nice job. What was here before was a mess. Um, so they have a generator hookup. Got all their brand new ray caps, new feed lines. Um, we're on their fiber up the tower, new ground, brand new cabinets. Um, so unfortunately, my equipment is a mess here because we had to move our equipment to make room for T-Mobile. And um, they didn't tell us, so T-Mobile's contractors just did it. They undid all our cable management, ripped all our stuff off the wall and just threw it on a PAL. Um, never told us. So we, we weren't very impressed. but. Nonetheless, that's what happened. Yeah, you know, they got my fiber banjo strung all over the place. I wasn't happy at all. But for my config here, we've got a um, 16 gig or 16 XG fiber switch. Our 10 gig links going up to our backhauls. Dual 10 gig to our switch up there. Power supplies. Dual 10 gigs to our Microtik. Just some management and a stack of batteries. Some power supplies and lightning protection on the back side. So that's what we have here. T-Mobile, Crow's Nest Broadband, and uh, I'll show you the um, 
inside of the compound real quick yet. <clears throat> so again, this these buildings are just so cool. So much fun being inside them. Just feels like if there's ever an apocalypse, this is where I'm coming. Alright, let's see. So, there you can see kind of they ha had uh, concrete um, or, you know, around the generator exhaust area there so that, you know, you couldn't ram something into the generator. And um, it's hard to show you guys just how massive these bolts are. I'll put my shoe up here, just kind of give you an idea. But these bolts and these legs on this thing, they are just massive. Um, I've got the ladder here going to the top, 215 feet. And, uh, of course, the feed lines have been decommed. The old feed lines uh, for the old horns have been decommed. But T-Mobiles are going up there. Ours are going up the inside. Looks like they need a little bit of TLC. And of all this big, huge cable management down here. Four legs. Just, just massive. Absolutely massive. Um, I was going to show you guys this view of the uh, antennas the sun was shining into my camera on the other side so it's hard to get a clear picture we'll try this uh, all right there you go that's a lot better so there big old panel and then the little n um 41 panel and of course our backhaul up there so again, all the external, external, internal stuff, everything's been upgraded and turned on, but the back wall hasn't been upgraded yet, but I know it's coming because I saw the PCN. Here you can see the backside of that honking big dish. Um, so one of my favorite towers of all time. Fun to work on, fun to be on. And of course I care about it because it's where I get cell service for my house. Um, it's where I have a 75 foot tower in my backyard, feed it with an AF-11, and um, that's how I get internet in my house, because I can't get any other internet in my house either. So here we go, American Tower, Crozen Broadband, T-Mobile, Wimber PA, 88272, so a look at the old long line site. Take care everybody, like, subscribe, comment, share. And happy speed. I'm actually back. I figured I'd, I'd mention that I had gig and a half backhauls. They're more technically correct. It's 1.4 gig. And uh, I've got my QNAT back. And uh, this link is actually a 18-mile uh, shot. Um, and on one of my previous videos on the channel, I had shown um, a 10 gig backhaul site. Um, and I couldn't do a speed test because I didn't have my 10 gig cable. Um, this site actually connects to that site, so this is where it's being. Uh, that's where it's being backhauled. So it, we're two hops from our core here uh, through two backhauls. Um, we're 18 miles or so, 17 or so miles through the air. Um, still one millisecond, and uh, at 1.4 gigs, we've got a couple hundred megs of usage on this link right now where we'd probably see the full 1.4 so we really love the obvious backhauls. Let me just uh, do a speed test from uh, from within a browser and see if we get uh, similar results. Um, so two milliseconds Generally, the browsers just don't do as good. People ask us all the time, why do you use that app? We can't see the loaded ping times and stuff. And it's like, well, the reason we tend not to use the app, or I mean the browser, is because it tends to not do as well on speed tests um, or not be as consistent. So that is why. It's so pretty impressive for almost 20 air miles, two hops. Um, for an extremely rural site like this is, it's more than sufficient. Alright, talk to you guys next time.